There's an anxious long wait for news from the Pacific Islands of Tonga, where a volcano eruption has triggered a tsunami and covered the region in volcanic ash. The authorities have not officially asked for aid yet or confirmed any deaths, but the communications network is virtually destroyed and there's been little contact with the people there. The eruption happened underwater on Saturday, north of the main island of Tonga Tapu, where the majority of the population lives. Uh, the family of one British woman say that she died after being swept away by the waves. Our correspondent Rupert Wingfield Hayes has sent this report. These pictures of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Harp by a volcano erupting are from last Friday. This is just a foretaste of what was to come a day later, an eruption many, many times larger. This is the volcano poking above the ocean surface last week. And today, it is completely gone. It's now been confirmed the huge eruption severed the main cable linking Tonga to the outside world. This morning, New Zealand dispatched aircraft to try and find out what is going on. Some of those islands are reporting um, that they haven't had uh, loss of life, but I would reiterate that is second hand uh, and it is early days. This evening, we learned this British woman, Angela Glover, was killed by the tsunami that hit the island on Saturday. She'd moved to Tonga in 2015 to open an animal shelter. She died trying to rescue her dogs. The strange thing was, was the uglier the dog, the more she loved it. Her initial call to go to Tonga was to swim with whales, which uh, she, she did. And um, yeah, she, beautiful girl, she's irreplaceable. Offers from New Zealand and Australia to help Tonga are being complicated by the COVID pandemic. The island nation is currently COVID free and it wants to stay that way. They have had disasters during the pandemic previously um, from sort of cyclones and hurricanes. And what they did then was just airdrop um, supplies in and there was no physical contact or interaction between say troops and the local, the local forces. A century ago, nearly one in 10 Tongans died in the 1918 flu pandemic. Any reluctance now to ask for help would not be without reason. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Tokyo.